Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and it's Fossil Monday so we're going to have a little dabble in some fossils today. So I'm thinking trailer bites, I'm thinking I am. I think we'll have a look at the trailer bites I've got, some of the ones I've found, some of the ones I've purchased and then um, I thought we've got to do something because the fossil gods are angry. Them shouting at me, it's thunder and everything going on. So I've got to do something, I've got to appease the fossil gods. So they're not happy we're not going fossiling. So it's Meg's sister's folks, it's her birthday. So happy, happy, happy birthday to Meg's sister. Woo! But uh, we still need to go fossil hunting next Monday. We really do. I mean, look at it. Oh, the gods are angry. So we need to do something to appease the gods. So I've been having a dabble on me. Me, uh, me rock, so I'll do a bit more, so I'll show you that as well. Um, but I'll get all my stuff laid out, so I was going to do it all outside on the table, but I don't think that's a good idea, because I think it's going to pour it down soon. But there is a little bit of blue sky about, a little bit of blue sky, but it's fighting the clouds. It is. So, uh, I think we're doing inside today, and then um, we can always come back out, can't we? Please like, subscribe, comment and share for me, and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, I had to dip inside because the, uh, the heavens opened and she downpoured everywhere she did. So, um, what we're going to do as well, we're going to find out which Star Wars character is named after a trilobite. No, the other way around. Has a trilobite named after them? That's right. There we go. So, we've had to come inside because it started raining again. So, uh, I've got three of them to show you today. So, I've got the one I found and I've got two that I've been, well, I didn't buy them. I was gifted them on um, birthdays and stuff like that. So, um, we'll have a look at my one first, then I'll show you my other two that I've got in little cases, and the one's got a little plimp for it and everything, so we'll, we'll show you them, and I'll tell you some facts about it as well. So, the um, the most commonly found about 300 million years ago, and they were on the ocean floor, and they were surviving, they were dying and fossilising and living and doing really well around that time. But they do go back a lot further than that. But we'll show you a couple more and then I'll tell you some more facts a bit, a bit further on. So this here is the one I found. I found this one at um, Wren's Nest in Dudley. It's got a, a little tiny wing missing. But apart from that, it's very, very nice. Um, it's not huge. But it's lovely and detailed. So there is um, 20,000 different species that we currently know of. Um, and they were found in every single country on the planet. They were that prolific. They were absolutely everywhere they were. Oh. Some of the biggest species they found were about 28 inches. And some of the smallest were less than a millimeter. So you're talking stuff that's like absolutely huge compared to stuff that's like even smaller than that. So I'm gonna show you one of my good ones now. This one's a lot bigger. It's got its own little display case. Now, some of them were nice and smooth like this one, and others were extremely spiky for like defense and stuff like that. But a lot of them were nice smooth shells like the ones I've got. They're a lot more common, these smooth shell ones. And they're probably a lot easier to get out of the rock as well. Um, many of the uh, the deep sea ones were blind. So uh, it, it's, it's you could quite easily identify if it's a deep sea one if it was blind. If it, you can't find any eyes or anything like that on it, it, it may have been a deep sea one which was um, quite commonly blind. Um, the first ones start appearing about 540 million years ago, which is ridiculously a long time ago, very long time ago. Um, it's hard to even fathom. And if you can hear clucking in the background, that's uh, Remus, the uh, the budgie that we rescued. <laughs> he's in. He's chatting to me. He is. So sometimes they would, uh, as a defence, they would curl up in a ball. Like this one is slightly doing the opposite, it's slightly curling up the the backwards way. But uh, most of them would have curled up into a nice little tight ball, almost like a little wood louse or something like that. Um, and most fossils that we find aren't actually the um, the trilobite. It's, it's malted shells. 
and malted exoskeletons that that's what we're finding so there's less um, it's more rarer to find the actual whole proper fossil and not just a shedded shell um, and the uh, now these trilobites they were wiped out in the biggest extinction we've ever had in history and it's called the great dying it was called and it happened about 250 million years ago and 90% of the animals on the planet suddenly disappeared they um because of course no one knows what happens there, there could have been a big meteor there could have been a massive big um eruption from a volcano there could have been multiple different scenarios but it, it is hard to say there's a couple of theories out there some of them think there's a volcano some of them think it was an asteroid or something like that but um it's hard to tell lily i'll put the lid back on this one and slide them away and then we move on to this one so this is one of my nice ones again and again it was a birthday present comes it had it came with its own little plinth and da, 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 it's got its own little little pocket it sits in I believe it's it's something like that. I'm not sure. It doesn't say how you meant to put it on there. You just meant to put it on there. So this is another one I've been um, given as a birthday present. Still needs a bit more work doing to it. I think there's a reason they've they've left all that on there to hold it together. So I don't. I never mess with them. Um, and quite commonly, because they're they're really prolific in America and stuff like that. Native Americans used to use them as uh, as amulets. So they used to leave them in a bit of rock. They'd put a hole through it and they'd wear it as a necklace, or something, or a uh, or they'd have it some sort of uh, on them in some sort of amulet kind of way. Um, so we'll go on to the um, which Star Wars character has a um, trilobite named after them. So uh, we'll go on to that. We go turn the torch on. That's a bit better. So, around the start of the last decade, a paleontologist called Samuel Turvey happened upon several new species of trilobites while he was exploring China, and he decided to name one of the new species the genus name Han. Um, and then, when it came to naming the species in that genus, he named it. Um, he decided to name it after his favourite Star Wars character. And he named it Han Solo. And it's quite amusing because it's the only trilobite in that genus. It's the only species. So the only spe the only trilobite in that genus is called Han Solo. So that's quite cool, isn't it? So Han Solo has got a um, fossil trilobite named after him. Which is quite cool. You never have thought anyone would have named a uh, Star Wars character after one of them. So there we go, those are the little trilobites I've got. There's a couple of little facts to keep you going. I hope that appeases the fossil gods so that keep, gets us a nice um, dry day for next week. Because we're definitely going next week. We're going somewhere really good again, somewhere in Wales. So we should be able to find some really cool stuff. And we're going to try and get Meg to get something really cool. So I found something amazing last time with my fossil fish. So next time we're going to try and aim to get Meg something really good. Well, me as well. But, but aim is to get Meg something really good. So uh, I thought we're going to have to say hello to him, because he? he's been chatting away the old video. So we have a look at Remus, and he's named Remus, because that's the bloke who used to touch stuff and turn it to gold, because he's all, like, he's yellow. Hello, oh, mate. How are you doing, sir? Don't you go mental. It's okay. You're a good lad. You've been chirping all the time. You can give us a chirp. No? No, he's a good lad. Oh, well, he's doing really well. Doing really well. We love him to bits. Okay, then, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. We're definitely going fossil hunting next weekend. No, next Monday, so we're going off on an adventure. So I uh, hope you're ready for that. Um, please like, subscribe, comment and share for me. If you want to watch another video, it should be a box there. If you want to uh, watch a playlist, it should be there. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, it should be up there. So I'll uh, see you in the future. Bye.